Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our Squirrel Mill tutorial series. Okay, so in this episode of our Squirrel Mill tutorial series, we're going to teach you how to use message highlighting. Now message highlighting is just a quick way, uh, visual way for you to look through your inbox and see certain emails that you have uh, selected to show up as a certain color. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into the Squirrel Mill here, which I've done. I'm at my inbox and I'm going to click on the Options button okay, and click the Message Highlighting Options category. Okay, It brings you here. Right now we don't have one defined, but that's what we're going to do now is add one. So click on the Add button. Okay, so it gives us our rule conditions here. So this is going to be like the name is just going to be for something for you to understand. So maybe you want to have all your friends the same color, or maybe your family the same color. Um, I'll make this one self. Okay, so anything I send to myself, I don't remember it, or I forward something to myself from another email account. Okay, uh, it comes as from is we're going to match. Now the rules go, you can match things where they come from, uh, where they go to. Um, the CC, like who you, you carbon copied it to, uh, both to or CC, and then subject matter. So if you have a subject that you send yourself, uh, you know, no matter from where, and it's just like self or test or meeting or something like that, you can have those particular subjects also the same color. Now it goes in the order from top to bottom as to which, which rule it's going to hit first. What I mean is if I have a rule that says anything from me is going to be blue, but anything with the subject of meeting is going to be red, then whichever rule it hits first is going to take precedence. And I've tested it by switching the rules around in the list, which I'll show you in a minute, but it still goes in order of the from is first. So whatever color that the particular rule is, is going to show. So if I say blue is from, me and red is for a subject meeting and I send myself a subject of meeting it's going to come as blue because it's going to take the from address okay hope that's not confusing but we're going to make one for from so let's get here I'm going to set for me okay now you can choose your color you can choose a list of colors here you can just, just whichever one you like you can add your own color here if you know the particular combination or you can select any of the other ones over here so let's just take this blue purple it's like a slight blue purple here save the changes okay so I have one rule in the list now and that's uh, here I can edit it change the color if I want change the conditions uh, delete it if I like but anything from me is going to show up and it's my self category okay if I want to add another one uh, really quickly, I was talking about it before, making a meeting category and the subject will be meeting. Okay, um, I can't type meeting, there we go. Now we're gonna make this one, like I said, red. Okay, we'll pick a softer red and save changes. Okay, so now anything that comes in as a subject header of meeting that's not from me should be red. If it's from me, it should be blue because blue takes precedence even if I switch them. Okay, that's just the way I've tested it. So if I go back to my inbox now, you see it's from me, it's myself, about a meeting, and it's blue. Uh, just to show you really fast, if I go back to highlighting, I switch them, and I go back to my inbox, and I refresh my inbox, it's still blue. It's still blue because from supersedes the other rule. Okay, so and that's message highlighting done in Squirrel Mail. Thanks for joining us for our Squirrel Mail tutorial series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below so we can bring you future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.